Alright, this is a screencast to show you how to embed a Twitter feed into your uh, website, where your website can be, of course, your normal blog, or a Moodle, or indeed a Blackboard page. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the website tw twitter.com forward slash goodies forward slash widgets. Notice there's an S in this um, HTTP address, so twitter.com forward slash goodies forward slash widgets and we're going to click on our website here we click on this here and we're greeted with a variety of different options we can embed all of these different widgets that we like into our uh, website we're just going to go for the search widgets here so the search query that we'll put in will be for example hash ELS 12 okay a particular summer school and what we'll do is type in a title and a caption. <clears throat> so after typing in the uh, our title and our hashtag, you'll see that it actually comes up as a preview here. This is what it will look like on your Moodle page. So what we want to do is look at the settings that we have. And we want to go for preferences then. So, <clears throat> do we include a scroll bar? Uh, how long between our tweets? What number of tweets are we going for? And indeed, what it looks like in terms of color. In this case, it's blue, uh, but you can change the color based on the on, on the codes that we have, and the dimensions. In most Moodle cases and the Blackboard, we want it to be a, a, a long dimension. So say, for example, we'll keep it at the same width, but we may make it 800. So <clears throat> we can also do auto width as well, which is worth it depending on your, your setup. So now we've gone through all of our settings and now it's a finish and grab the code. So here's the HTML code. We highlight the whole thing, right click and press copy. Now it's time for us to open up our blog or indeed our Moodle site. Okay, once we're in our, our Moodle course, we click turn editing on and we're greeted with our blocks here. What I'm going to say, suggest to you is to add a HTML block. So our HTML block is here, we just click on the edit button to configure and we and what we do is we come in here and we paste in our script. So our Twitter feed from this particular hashtag is uh, being fed straight into our Moodle course. I hope you find this useful.